Last month I tried out Last month I tried out Daniel Smith's Moonglow watercolor stick and there was some great viewer feedback. Jenny French suggested mixing my own version with Viridian French Ultramarine and Permanent Alizarin Crimson or Quinacridone Coral. And that motivated me to play around a bit. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to make your own moon glow. Reason number one, Daniel Smith paints can be quite pricey. And reason number two, they use PR-177 anthraquinone red, which I've heard has questionable light fastness. Here you can see a quick comparison between Daniel Smith's Moon Glow and what I'm calling Looney Mooney on a sample square using those three colors there. I could have gone with M. Graham's Permanent Alizarin Crimson, which is PR264, but I haven't been using Da Vinci as much as I'd like, so I chose their Alizarin Crimson Quinacridone. That one is PV19 and is cooler than the other. Unfortunately, I don't have a true Viridian, also known as PG18, so I used the closest thing I have, PG7, which is Thalo Green. They look similar, but I gather, at least from what I've read on Jane Blundell's blog, they differ in regards to intensity, staining strength, and granularity. For the third pigment, I decided on Schmincke's version of French Ultramarine, PB29, because granulation. Here's the red component, Da Vinci's Alizarin Crimson Quinacridone, PV19. And yes, that's a violet pigment. Shh, don't tell. And uh, French Ultramarine, PB29, uh, from Schmincke. And here I finally put the last page of my 2019 B watercolor journal to good use. This is 100% cotton cold press watercolor paper. And here's Windsor Green, PG7, aka Thalo Green, from the Windsor & Newton professional line. Uh, Windsor. Google Docs always annoys me by trying to slip a D in there. With all of the players now identified, let's enjoy the paint, porcelain, paper, three-way action for a while. With me by my side So Just une faille dans mon cœur attend pour la peinture au mur et les bandes en cunu. Just une faille dans mon cœur attend. Le stress est accru par l'ennui vécu. Une feuille tombante, anxiété latente. Pas envie de recommencer ce qu'on fera et les parents s'épongent les cru ça fait aïe aïe Moi de toute façon j'ai besoin de flot dessus du temps J'ai besoin d'être sûr que la bonne pour me faire oublier toutes mes peurs et faille faille Behind my heart advice, X 
send you to memory that I couldn't keep on my vinyl. If I die, oh baby, be my soul is sad, and I really don't wanna mess it up with you. You're my final. Gotta fix it out. Feeling and chasing to stay beyond doubt, and gotta be afraid to search for signs. I was using a round Neptune, but switched to the Aqua Elite Dagger because it's relatively new and hadn't been used much yet. I need to experiment more, but so far I'm liking it. You could say I've flat out come around to being a fan of the Dagger, and that's no stroke because we all need more brush humor in our lives. There were two dishes there because one mixture was supposed to be more watery than the other, but I may have lost track of what I was doing because they eventually became indistinguishable from each other. It happens. I'm 52 years old and I tend to lose focus at times. This life course wasn't planned. If someone had told me, when I was 22, that in 30 years I'd be recording myself swatching and mixing and painting, and then sharing it all with strangers in the hope of receiving happy emojis, I mean, what? This is for the paint on porcelain lovers out there. Not naming names, you know who you are. I get it. I may have overdone it with the dual dishes though. Sorta of looks like a pair of headlights. And for some reason, now I'm craving a purple nurple cocktail on the rocks. Yeah, porcelain swirling is practically up there with swatching. Speaking of, lately I've been relying on Jamie Anderson's channel for my watercolor swatching fix. 
She also does brand comparisons and provides useful information in her videos while still making it a relaxing experience. So check her out. She gives good swatch. Yeah, turned out okay. I want to credit YouTuber Leah Evergreen Art. I had watched her video, Painting with One Color for Beginners, and I liked the layout she used for that exercise. So I did something similar here. I mean, you could say that I, quote, copied her, but the other way sounds better. When comparing Daniel Smith's Moon Glow to my earlier Test Square and the new version, I can see that this time I didn't add enough red to the mix. Of course, this isn't the only way to make a Moon Glow look alike. Hopefully, you'll try your own mixes with what you have. If you want to explore further, please do take a look at the description for links. I usually include stuff that relates to things mentioned in the videos. Plus, all of my social media links are there as well. I'm not super social, but out of all of them, I'd say I'm most active on Instagram these days. Drop me a line sometime. I'm happy to share this purplish color mixing experience, and if some of my comments came across as overly blue, well, you should have your brain washed out with soap. We're a clean program here, uh, besides the stains all over the desk, and the towels, and the tissues. Until next time, keep your thoughts out of the gutter and stay artsy, my friends.